Hi guys, it's Dr. Kavikia Miller from Sparrow Family Medicine. I'm out here on this beautiful Saturday morning to talk with you about what to do if you get a tick bite because I hope you're planning to go outside this weekend. Um, so there are five steps. The first step is to pull the tick off and you can do that with the tweezers, just pull it directly off. Um, number two is to identify whether or not it's a deer tick or a dog tick. We don't really worry about dog ticks because they don't transmit um, Lyme disease. We worry about deer ticks because they can transmit Lyme disease. Um, so there's a big difference in the size and what they look like and there's lots of pictures online that you can find um, to identify and I'll put a link below as well. Number three is to figure out whether or not the tick has been on for 36 hours or longer. And you can do that based on whether or not, um, or when you had your last exposure to being outside and when you may have gotten that. Um, you can also look at whether or not the tick is engorged. Um, if the tick is engorged or it's been 36 hours or longer, then you wanna proceed to the next step, which is to contact your doctor because we can actually give you a preventive dose of antibiotics to prevent any chance of Lyme disease. And that's true for both kids and adults. Um, and that needs to be given within 72 hours of you taking the tick off. Um, if you don't get the, that preventive dose of antibiotics, then you just want to talk with your doctor about your options, which include watching um, to look for any signs of Lyme disease, such as the bullseye rash, and I'll post a picture of that below, um, versus testing, uh, doing a blood test in a couple of weeks. So I hope this is helpful, um, and get outside and enjoy the great outdoors.